Good. Hello, viewers. This is LMU TV, a station where we always get to watch and learn. This is your teacher, Roger Michira, ready to take you through our history class today. And the topic of discussion is agrarian revolution. Yes, today we are getting into agrarian revolution. Now, just to remind you again, we have looked at how the issue of uh, the art of agriculture started from Mesopotamia to Egypt, some of the indigenous crops, some of the indigenous animals, some of the uh, reasons for the early agriculture, both in Mesopotamia and in Egypt, some of the impacts, right, of early agriculture, both in Mesopotamia and Egypt. Now, class, today we're getting to agrarian revolution. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, by the end of the lesson class, we expect that we'll be able to define the term agrarian revolution and also get to explain the changes that occurred during the agrarian revolution in Britain. Now, class, who can make a try of what agrarian revolution is? Someone to make a try? Oh yes, what a very good trial. Right now, agrarian revolution. We can say this is the sudden change and radical change in agricultural methods and livestock rearing. What does that, that tell us? Right, there is that sudden change. If you use it to dig using your hand, you move to using machines. Right, if you use not to, to use fertilizer when you are planting, you move to using fertilizer. Right, if you use to 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 rear those. Um, those indigenous uh, uh, livestock, right? Those breeds. Now you get these. These are the, the indigenous, the indigenous breeds of livestock. Good. That's what agrarian revolution is: the radical change in agricultural methods and livestock rearing is what we call agrarian revolution. Thank you. Let's move on. Now the changes were brought about by the invention and the use of machines. I've already talked of that, right? If you used to use your hand in digging, now you use the machines, what you always see today, right? That's what we call, those are some of the changes that were brought about by agrarian revolution. Talk of invention, right? And now the, t the changes took place in many countries at different times and different ways. The changes we must get to know that it occurred between 1750 and 1850. It's a long time, none was born at that time, good. Can you get to look at the changes that occurred during the Grand Revolution? One, you have the abolition, the abolition of uh, fallows, right? What are these? What are these, right? Farmers should no longer afford to leave the land fallow again, right? And another change that occurred there that was uh, very significant is that new methods of farming. Talk of use of fertilizers. Talk of increased uh, crop yields, right? New methods of farming. Talk of large scale plantation. Good, those are the new methods of farming. And also, oh, there was the issue of intercropping. What is intercropping, class? This is the growing of a crop in another crop. What does that mean? For example, you, you, you get to intercrop maize and beans. These made farmers realize more yields, right? Remember when you, when you plant maize together with beans, beans are adding nutrients to the soil, right? What does that tell us? There are more yields. The use of uh, machines also. The use of machines changed agriculture from small scale to large scale. People could have 100 and plus acres, 1,000 acres. You can't use human labor. That can't happen, right? Now there was the use of machines. These made agriculture to move from small scale to large scale. Now there was also land enclosure system. What is this land enclosure system? Large farms were required instead of small existing strips, right? Now, those small strips were joined to make large farms, right? Now, the, farm, the large farms were enclosed by fencing after the small pieces of land were put together or cons consolidated. That's what we call consolidation of land. Now, the small pieces of land are brought together to form large, large, large pieces of land. Now, class, can we get to name? or can we get to define what land consolidation is, and also get to discuss the characteristics of agrarian revolution in Britain. 
our class for our reverence. Let us get to use the evolving world, history and government, book one. Thank you so much for your participation. But as always, remember to tune in to Elimu TV, your favorite channel where you get to watch and learn.